the Washington Commanders just made a move that no team has done since 2018. Let's talk about it. I feel left. What I want. Twitch at Chewy IL Real, as that's where I will be live streaming the games anytime the Washington Commanders play. I'll stream the game yesterday versus the New York Jets, and I know some people probably was like, Juan, where are you at? I'm over on Twitch. So go ahead and give me a follow. And then secondly, join the Discord server as I finally got one up and running, and we already got a couple people in here. It's gonna be a place where you can have fun and be your authentic self. Enjoy the rest of the video. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about what the Washington Commanders just did. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so it'd be greatly appreciated if you haven't reached that goal as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if notifications don't go out how they used to or whatever, but I be live. I live stream here on the channel and I live stream on Twitch. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could tune in for those because I want to interact with you guys. That's the time where you guys can ask me any questions that you want and we kind of have a one-on-one -on -one talk. So join the live streams here on YouTube and join the live streams on Twitch, especially on game days. We're watching the game on Sundays. All right? Okay. So. The Washington Commanders just signed a new player. However, it's not just any new player. It's somebody that I vividly can remember watching a long time ago that was really good with the Pittsburgh Steelers. His name is Martavis Bryant. Now, yesterday, when I made the video on Martavis Bryant, I didn't really know how to feel about him. I really didn't know because part of me wanted to say, okay, this is just somebody that they're just bringing in for camp. This could be a... Um, nothing really but this is a guy that they brought in a second time like this isn't just a regular guy that they tried out okay go on about your business they tried him out again this was the second time and then this time he signs a contract and i'm pretty sure he'll probably be playing on saturday this is something that he hasn't been able to do since 2018 sure teams have signed them the cowboys have signed them other teams may have signed them but I don't think no one has given him an opportunity to play. And I think that's what he's going to get here in Washington. Right now, we are in need of a big body receiver. And I honestly just dis dismissed him because of his age. But he was really good years ago with the Steelers. Big Ben, Le Le'Veon Bill, Antonio Brown, Montez Bryant. They were really good together there in Pittsburgh. So he may be older. And as my guy Jalen's dad pointed out, was he's 32 however he doesn't have a lot of trade on his tires because he hasn't played in so long so that could be a positive thing it's nothing to get back in shape right but once you're damaged your goods you're damaged your goods so maybe this guy could be our big body receiver our new cam sims at least for this season i don't know what this means for Jahan dotson and i'm not saying he's not going to make the roster that is not what i'm saying he's going to make the roster but you have to start to think, how what do they feel about the back end of this wide receiver room if they're signing wide receivers this late? They signed Byron Pringle. Now they're signing, signing Martavis Bryant. I'm not sure if they're confident in this wide receiver room outside of Terry McLaurin and Deami Brown. And the reason why I say Deami Brown is because you see how they, they think of him. I, mean, I believe they think highly of him more than Jahan Doss, honestly. So you got to think to yourself, maybe Martavis Bryant could come in and with this new air raid offensive style that we run, it's going to be heavy based on a lot of, you know, older bet veteran receivers, big body receivers. So maybe he could be that for us. It sucks for me because I really want to see Bryson Tremaine to make, make this roster, but I think they're going to lean more towards the veteran. But it, again, it's not a guarantee that he has to make this roster. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but if he goes out in the preseason game, the final two, the, the Miami Dolphins one, and then, uh, the Patriots one, if he goes out in those two games and he's looking good, I believe that six and final roster spot is going to be his. Cause I think they're going to keep six receivers. And I think those five or those five prior to him 
is Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Dayami Brown, Luke McCaffrey. Um, I want to say uh, my fifth. Uh, I'm blanking right now. Or oh, Alameda Zacchaeus. And then the sixth is probably going to be my, now Martavis Bryant. Um, at first, I was I put Dwight Bryson Tremaine in there because, again, we needed a big body receiver. And I think that's what they thought. They they see, too. And maybe they don't necessarily trust a young guy in Bryson Tremaine. Or maybe they're just bringing them in for competition. Maybe it's like, all right, we're gonna, we, we, we like Martavis Bryant and we like Luke McCaffrey. So let or uh, we like uh uh um Bryson Tremaine. So let's see uh who battles it out and who wins, right? So again, he hasn't played since 2018 with the Las Vegas Raiders. Prior to the 2018 season with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he had 50 receptions, uh, two or 603 yards, um, and he had three touchdowns. 2015, he had 765 yards, and uh, he had 50 receptions again that year too. Then the part of the 2014 season, golly, he hasn't played, man. Ah, that's crazy. It's 10 years since he made his debut. And he hasn't played in in, a, in, a, in a, like uh, in, in a while. In uh, six years. So he had 26 receptions, 549 yards, and eight touchdowns in his rookie year. So maybe it's something left, right? Maybe it's something left that we could probably tap into with this, with this, young, uh, with this young wide receiving group. Him and Terry McClellan could be that, that those veteran guys. He is six foot four. Um, so again, that big body go up, get a climb the ladder kind of receivers that we need is exactly what Martavis Bryant can do for us. Uh, more history on him. He, he, he was with the uh, Canadian Football League with the Toronto Argonauts. Uh, he played in the club, you know, um, a fan control league. Uh, he signed with the Cowboys, but he didn't make the roster. So that's why I said, like, no team is giving him an actual chance that we're giving him since 2018, and it ultimately may pay out for him. Um, how do you guys see it? Leave it down below in the comment section. Do you think Martavis Bryant can make this roster? And if he does, how do you see his role being in Washington? I want to take a quick pause into today's video and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the ticket place for you if you want to go to any live event. And right now, right now only, you can get $20 off your first purchase by punching in the promo code WineGotti. And let's say you already bought your tickets to the event, but you know parking is hella expensive, man. So go ahead and punch in that promo code WineGotti to get $20 off your parking. Use it while you can, because this is a limited time offer. Let's get back to the video. Now, moving on to the next topic, the Washington Commanders did release a kicker in a Ramiz Ahmad, uh, which Amit was a little bit surprising because he was the one that actually made his kicks last Saturday. So if anyone got released, I thought it would have been Riley Patterson. Um, because Riley Patterson did clank a 39-yarder. But I already told you guys, and this is why it's important to tune into the live streams that when I go live here on YouTube or Twitch, we don't have a kicker on this roster that's, that, that is good. Is it just me or watching those guys kick that they can't kick past 40 yards? Like, that kick that Ramiz uh, made, that looked like it was all of his leg strength right there. It looked like 40 was his max. And I'm like, man, shoot, I could probably go out there and bang home a 41 yard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, like, if you're in the NFL, I feel like anything in front of, like, 51 should be automatic like anything sub 50 51 no or sub 40 rather is the uh, term should be automatic 41 42 43 44 like 45 like you should be automatic from those range and i don't think neither one of our kickers are i don't think they have the leg strength see the thing about joey slide that's why i was kind of frustrated that we let him go even though even with the brandon mcmanus signing i was like okay i was happy i was fine with it because it's a kicker but I didn't necessarily want to give up on Joey Sly because I, at least I know Joey Sly got the leg. He got the leg to kick it from, from 59, and it's good from 61, 62 with room to spare. Like, he has the leg of His thing was accuracy. But you're telling me you couldn't have worked with him on his accuracy? Now we having a kicker that barely can make it past 43 yards. I think next draft, we need to sign a kicker. Or we need to draft a kicker. I've been banging the table for that for years now. 
and we're yet to do it. And now I personally believe we're going to be in another situation where we're in the Chris Blewett year. Remember Chris Blewett? Remember the the uh, the slew of other kickers we had that year after letting go of Dustin Hopkins? I think we're right down that path again because Washington Commanders don't have a kicker that they can rely on. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me and Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my other channel, Chewy IRL. Follow the Twitch. Join the Discord. It's a lot that y'all can pick from this in this day and age, man. And it's all free to support. So help out your boy. Y'all have a blessed one. Stay safe. Be easy. Peace.